Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with part three of our Hidden Gems with the immortal John Hancock. How's it going, dude? Oh, love it. Love being here. Dude, you brought another stack of games that I need for my collection. <laughs> yeah, you know, I brought some 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 B titles. You know, mm -hmm. it's pretty safe to say. Um, and I listened to some of your fans. Some yeah. of your fans have requested some of these games, and I, and I listened to your fans because your fans are awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. All right, dude. Want to check them out? Let's check it out. Let's do it. First one, oh. which got requested quite a bit yes. for good reasons. Yes. General Chaos. <laughs> awesome name. Uh, I love this game, and I think it's important to know you can play this by yourself or you can play with someone else, and you know what's better, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this game is really known for being a, like a epic couch co-op game. Absolutely. I played this quite a bit back in the day. Funny. Uh, well done, uh, kind of a, a parody of how war can be. Right. And um, I, I love it. It's it's great. I usually played uh, co-op, mm -hmm. and so you can play head to head or co-op or against a computer. And I think co-op as a team versus the the computer, which can cheat and be be tough. Right. Um, fantastic. It it's definitely needs to be on a list. It's held up too. It's still funny. Boy. All right. This next game's hard to classify. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's called The Ooze. The Ooze. And so the story goes with this. It was supposed to be marketed with the Nomad. Oh, and okay. Either a pack in or something else, and that didn't happen. Hmm. And this game came out. Um, again, another casualty of the mid 90s Sega Genesis release. When hmm. it came out, nobody was really paying attention to Sega Genesis. Really hard to classify. It's an overhead view in which you control Ooze. And you go around trying to get from point A to point B, and it's got really interesting gameplay mechanics. There's hmm. hidden secrets in it. Really well done. Not talked about a lot. Yeah. And it's 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 it needs to be on the list. Okay. Well, cool. Next one is definitely in the Thunder Fox. Thunder Fox. And guess what? You can play as two characters in this game. <laughs> guess what they are? Thunder or, or Fox. Fox. <laughs> so yeah. Definitely. Blue um, pants or red pants. That's right. <laughs> and so, you know, you need to pair this game up with like a Chuck Norris film. And then, I mean, that's I did this many times with my friends. Watch a B-movie, like, and then play a game like this. And it yeah. actually adds to the excitement. Now, this is often c compared to, like, say, Russian Attack or something yes. like that. Yeah, it plays a lot like Russian Attack, and I think it uses the same engine, the arc. Oh, okay. So this is an arcade port, mm. uh, an arcade port of... Um, of the same game, but it used the same engine as Ninja Warriors. Oh, okay. And so, um, so, but yeah, plays like Russian, plays like Russian Attack um, a little bit. It's, it's slow. It's, it's not a really twitch, fast-paced game, but, but solid. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Next game, uh, in my opinion, one of the best strategy games on the system. Another epic cover here. Wow. Yeah. And it will look renovation. Renovation, yeah. Huh? With the make grade stuff. Master of Monsters. That's right. Oh. So okay. hex based. Yeah. Um, there is a battery save on it. So we have save states now in some of the, mm -hmm. you know, the newer systems. So but so you can upgrade your create and upgrade your different monsters. You can play different scenarios. It's awesome. You play it like a board game. Yeah. Up to four different players can play. You know, you just like pass the controller around. Hmm. It's definitely um, not your, if you're like a pick up and play person, don't play this. If you're the type of person that loves like board games and you know, stuff like that, this is your game. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Some variety here. That's yes, awesome. Yes, definitely. Next one. Next one, okay, think of, <laughs> this is a weird combo. Disney, so so Disney made this game um, based off a cartoon. Right. And it had kind of a darker theme to it, and it used the same kind of technology as Aladdin. Oh, really? And it was awesome. Huh. And so um, it's really well done. Sound is okay. Graphics are amazing. Really? And, um, you know, a, a solid platform title that's not your your typical cutesy, yeah. you know, cartoon. So huh. definitely, wow, yeah, that's cool. Control a gargoyle, and it's well done. So this next game here, 
star control on the Genesis. Now, I remember playing, I think, either this or the sequel on the PC, and those are beloved games. Yeah, so this started, you know, the, you know, a classic any any major PC gamer of the 90s a star control is is you know yeah up there yeah top shelf on Genesis um, it was it was definitely not known as much mm -hmm. um, this is really about doing melee with your friends so right. it's like you know playing like space war uh, choosing you know different ships with different abilities with funny names right uh, there is a, a a slight mission scenario in this game you can play a single player like campaign but really it's about the melee and two player that's what really that's why I played this game um, and then there's a sequel which really expanded upon the universe and became a, an epic crazy awesome game but right this, got to start here. Yeah, it started huh. here, and some people forget about how good Star Control 1 is, especially on a console, and it's well done. Next game is... This is a game for the uh, the original Xbox 360 called Crackdown. <laughs> <laughs> so, arcade port. Oh, okay. It's an arcade... <laughs> it's an arcade port, obscure Sega arcade port that was released by a different company on the Gen Genesis. Huh. Two player. Okay. Do you do you hunt for orbs on top of uh, buildings? Nope. Yeah, no. you you plant bombs. Okay. Or disarm bombs, or uh, you know, it's essentially a two player co op game that you can play. Not real fast pace. Unique. It's definitely unique. Um, the one thing that should be said about this game in the game, you have like a time limit per level, and your character can't run. And so it's really... The, they're sauntering? They're sauntering. That is a great word, sauntering. I wish I could saunter. No, I kind of slog along. So, but yeah, it's it's not perfect, but um, I haven't played a lot of games like it. And anytime I can I can do couch multiplayer, yeah. it, it gets on the list for me. That's, that's well, solid. Well, look how cheesy that cover is. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's yeah. like, that's... That might have been the reason why somebody skipped over it. I'm yeah. just saying. Don't yeah. judge a book by its cover, but it's pretty... That's pretty generic. Pretty generic. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I definitely envision this being on the back page of yeah. a magazine in black and white. Right. Saying, you know, buy this game. <laughs> Next game, uh, Midnight Resistance. And Midnight Resistance, uh, another arcade port, and also a casualty of a two-player arcade game that went to a one-player okay. home port. Mm. Um, it had really unique control, and the control was praised on the, on the system. Uh, you know, another military side-scrolling, uh, you know, action game. Hmm. Kind of plays a little bit like Contra. Um, solid, not not perfect, and a little easy. It's a little bit on the easy side, hmm. so it's easy to beat. So if you like if you want you like beating games, and it's not that hard. Well, not bad. Sometimes I like those where mm -hmm. I just want to sit down with a beer, space out, and actually finish a game for once. You know? This is a good game for that. This next one, Target Earth. I have. I haven't played it yet, though. So yeah, Target Earth. Um, ironically, it was a it was an early release for Sega Genesis. Okay. And it's not perfect. You you control um, like a like a robot mech space thing mm -hmm. and. Flying around and it's it's part platform, part action. Um, controls a little unique. It takes a little bit to get used to. Um, my friend Jonathan Rose, who's a huge fan of this, hmm. um, it definitely has its fan base. I love it. I think it's great, and hmm. uh, it's definitely on my list. All right, I'm gonna have to play my copy then. Speaking of Chuck Norris and bad '80s <laughs> movies, tell me about Caliber Fifty. 50, caliber. caliber 50, another yeah. obscure arcade it port. It looks like a VHS cop, doesn't it, it does. with those lines right it there? <laughs> yeah, another obscure arcade port. Plays a little bit like Akari Warriors. Okay. Um, maybe a little bit of Heavy Barrel okay. mixed in with That's that. That's good. A really unique control scheme in which you like press buttons to like rotate your your character to fire. Okay. Um, not for everybody. But again, you know, these type of games, I, you know, when I think of like fun action games, I think of Mercs. Right. I don't think of Caliber 50, <laughs> you know, and you know, Mercs was probably a better game. But again, if you like games like that, check out Caliber 50, you might like it. Okay, cool. And then finally. Finally, Ranger X. Ranger X, I think, uh, has two out of three great things. And hmm. then the th Third thing, which is gameplay, takes a little bit to get used to. Okay. So, great graphics, great sound, 
name's okay. Yeah. Um, it had two control styles. So this was, they're really trying to market the six button controller. Okay. Control's totally different with that. Okay. And so it's a one player game as well. So that, you know, but you're, you're a mech and you have like the sidecar thing that you can control separately with the six button controller. Hmm. Um, the gameplay, you have to give this time okay. to understand the gameplay this is not a pick up and play game is, is it just because it's complicated it's complicated okay it's complicated there's certain things about certain levels you have to figure out before you can understand this is how i get past oh okay and hmm. um if the people that give this time really love it oh, okay so it's just if you get frustrated easily with the game don't play this or, or look up the manual somewhere yeah. if you don't have it so yep okay. definitely but i i enjoy this game very huh. much all right, dude. Well, that is another video of Genesis Hidden Gems down. Right. This is so awesome for you to dig into your collection like this. Uh, we would love to know what games have we not covered yet that you think are hidden gems? Because, well, you own them all, so I can't say you're looking for <laughs> more games, mm -hmm. but you never know. We may do another video and love to know what you guys think that we haven't covered, right? That's right. Tell us what you think and what you think is a hidden gem. That's right. So, dude, where can people find you on the internet? You just type in the immortal John Hancock and I'll pop up somewhere with my shining face. <laughs> and his massive game collection. It's so awesome, dude. Well, thanks, man, for coming thanks on so and much. doing these. These are so awesome. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and take care. It's always a pleasure when John Hancock comes over and hangs out in my game room and brings a box o games. Box of hidden gems. Not a lot of people know this. But he truly is immortal. Yes, he did sign the Declaration of Independence. No, I'm not making that up. It's a little known fact. And, well, you heard it here first. You know, that's what this is about. Just sharing the love. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.